my dear friends we are beginning this mass of tuesday the 12th week of easter mass will be celebrated by father kiskama lemo our entrance hymn is city of god this mass is going to be offered for you for your families and for all those that you have asked us to pray for awake from your slumber arise from your sleep a new day is dawning for all those who weep the people in darkness have seen a great light the lord of our longing has conquered the light let us build a city of god may our tears be turned into dancing for the lord our light and our love has turned the night into day in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear people of god gather together to worship and praise god to break word and sacrament let us be mindful of who we are and ask god for pardon and strength You we are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us always, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. I offer this mass particularly for those who are distressed, who are going through very difficult times in their lives for those who are living on the brink of damnation that God we urge them unto everlasting life grant O Lord that we may always revere and love your holy name for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is a reading from the second book of Kings. Sinacherib, king of Assyria, sent envoys to Hezekiah, with this message. Thus shall you say to Hezekiah, king of Judah, do not let your God on whom you rely deceive you by saying that Jerusalem will not be handed over to the king of Assyria. You have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all other countries. They doomed them. Will you then be saved? Hezekiah took the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. Then he went up to the temple of the Lord and spreading it out before him, he prayed in the Lord's presence. O Lord, God of Israel, enthroned upon the cherubim, you alone are God over all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made the heavens and the earth Incline your ear, O Lord, and listen. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. Hear the words of Sinacherib, which he sent to taunt the living God. Truly, O Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste the nations and their lands, and cast their gods into the fire. They destroyed them because they were not gods but the work of human hands, wood and stone. Therefore, Lord our God, save us from the power of this man, that all kingdoms of the earth may know that you alone, O Lord our God. Then Isaiah, son of Amos, 
sent this message to Hezekiah. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, in answer to your prayer for help against Sinacherib, king of Assyria, I have listened. This is a word of the Lord. This is a word the Lord has spoken concerning him. She despises you, laughs you to scorn, the virgin daughter Zion. Behind you, she wags her head, daughter Jerusalem. For out of Jerusalem shall come remnants, and from Mount Zion survivors. The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not reach this city, nor shoot an arrow at it, nor come before it with a shield, nor cast up siege works against it. He shall return by the same way he came, without entering the city, says the Lord. I will shield and save this city for my own sake, and for the sake of my servant David. That night the angel of the Lord went forth, and struck down 185,000 men in Assyria. So Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, broke camp and went back home to Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is, God upholds his city forever. God yes. upholds yes. his city forever. Yes. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised. In the city of our God, his holy mountains, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is a city of the great king. God is with her castles, renowned is he as a stronghold. God upholds his city forever. O God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. As your name, O God, so also your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Of God. justice, your right hand is full. God, God upholds his city forever. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, do not give what is holy to dogs or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others what you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction. And those who enter it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life. And those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, Good afternoon again. We have beautiful words God has given to us here. And uh, let me summarize it that God cannot be mocked. God, our living God, the Most High, powerful, supreme in majesty, who sits on his throne, he does what he will. And we cannot, no one, Challenge him. In our first reading, we saw this king, Chinachere, throwing a challenge and mocking God to a contest. 
mere mortals because they believe and rely. He believed and rely on God. Because of that, he thought he could now enter into a, an open conquest with God. And even went ahead in sending a challenge. But see how it was handled. And that is why I'm emphasizing it. See how it was handled. It was handled with prayer. Hezekiah got to heaven and did not say, I have 10,000 men. He did not say, I rely on this. He said, let me go to the God I rely on. And when I laid bare the letter, God, this is what Chinacherib is saying. He is challenging you. He is provoking you. He is calling you to a conquest. Because of the humility, God intervened. He says, not an arrow, not a bow, not even one fought, fight will be fought here. And he did what God knows how to do best. So, in our lives, sometimes we are going on. We want to do that which is right. God has laid it in our heart to be prudent, to be kind, to be honest, to be loving, to have the spirit of fortitude and tenacity in us. But as we are going on in our lives, we meet people and situations that will want to derail us, challenge us, chastise us, and put us and put us asunder to take us from this. We will even be called names. Our steadfastness and our resolve will invite God not only to be involved on our side, but to fight ahead of us. Now, is it, am I saying that in all instances, in every situation, God is going to take the warfare as he did in the past against Zinachere while they were sleeping? Send an envoy to destroy in their camp? Sometimes he does not. Sometimes, like he did to these very people, he let them be taken as captives. He let them go as exiles. So sometimes misfortunes will come on us. It is not a sign that God has been defeated in our lives. It is a sign that if we hold steadfast, God will prove himself. He will vindicate himself. And that is why he said, do not throw what is holy to dogs. Do not give, do not give the enemy the challenge. Do not allow him what he wants. Do not your peers, that your faith, which is precious to you, do not give it to pigs. You believe in God, they don't. You believe in forgiveness, they don't. You believe in reconciliation, they don't. Are you going to let them bring you into their corner so that you don't believe in the very good things that God has ordained for you? The answer God is telling us is no. Believe in the good things and hold fast. Even when seemingly, worldly, in life, they are not going for you. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, he is the righteous judge who will judge. He says, do to others what you would want them to give to you. A golden rule. Perhaps, in fact, he is telling us more. Do them more. No matter what happened, do not go off. Do not derail from the right path. Do not let them take you off the course. You are set on faith. You are set on righteousness. You are set on believing. You are set on doing and holding fast to what God has ordained as good, righteous and holy. Do not leave it for the interest of the world, for the mere gratification, for instant gratification, for the successes that are immediate today that will not endure. No. God is God and cannot be mocked. And prayer, definitely, 
that is rooted in steadfast faith will see us through to treat people even as Jesus will treat them that even when they have treated us ill, evil, done bad to us, we can find a place to rebound and say, I will treat you good because I believe in the Most High God. Is this easy? It is not. It is so difficult. How difficult? It is so difficult that narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life. That is how difficult it is. Because the other way is easy. It says, wide is the road and broad is the road that leads to destruction. Eye for eye, revenge for revenge, fight for fight. You do me, I do you. Not relying on God, out of the equation. Yet, that's a sure way to be destroyed. But to say, I forgive you. I let go of it. Let us be reconciled. Come, let's talk this way. It is so difficult because as you are planning it and as you want to do it, the devil chip on your shoulder will be telling you, oh, you are weak. You are not man enough. They are going to take advantage of you. This is what you have to do. So, that is the narrow way. To say, no, I stand my ground. I believe in God. Let him be God in this and fight my cause. <coughs> if nothing at all, if you do not hear anything I say, take that with you. That God cannot be mad. God wants us to believe in him. And if you step back, it leads to where he is. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we praise you. Father, we thank you. Father, we glorify you. We humbly confess for those times when we have challenged you or given in to conquer you, to defame your holy name and not live to the character of our essence. Forgive us and have mercy on us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our holy church, our leader, the Pope, the bishop, the cardinal, the catechist, the priest, the lay leader. Lord, we are human beings and sometimes whims and caprices leads us away from you. May we find a place in our heart to hear your word. Put down our guns and let you be God of your church, the leader of your people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those times when torment, desolation, discouragement, the disadvantage of life have led us to taking life and situation in our hands and not rely on you. For those times when we have mortgaged our souls and our lives. For those times when we have not even regarded you as God. Have mercy. Forgive us. Give us a fresh start. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, especially those here at War to Win, those under the authority of my voice right now, those who are going through procedures and cannot tune in, those who are working with them and for them, the caregivers, the doctors, for the medication that is being administered, Lord, that you may give efficacy to the prayer. That you be final. Your healing hand may be made manifest in this place. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For soldiers who are in very difficult place or places. For those 
who I won't know why are they where they are. Lord, deal with them this hour, particularly those who are on the brink of destroying their own lives. Surround them with a comfort that comes from you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. In the silence of our heart, let us pray for our individual needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, these are the prayers we make to you in faith. Grant them to us, O Lord, if they are in accordance with your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread and the wine we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. May they become for us, O Lord, the bread of life and cup of our eternal salvation. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with us and accept the gifts we offer you with humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me. From all my sins. Pray, my dear people of God, that your sacrifice and mine may be pleasing to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Amen. Amen. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise and grant that claims by its action we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, creator of the world and the source of all life. For you never forsake the works of your wisdom, but by your providence are even now at work in our midst. With mighty hand and outstretched arm, you led your people Israel through the desert. Now, as your church makes her pilgrim journey in the world, you always accompany her by the power of the Holy Spirit and lead her along the path of time to the eternal joy of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. And so, with angels and saints, we too sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for his disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Holy Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Spirit, your Holy Spirit, to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess, profess your resurrection faith. until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show for the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed unto us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity so that together with Francis our Pope, Timothy our Bishop, with all bishops, religious, priests, laity and deacons and your entire people as we walk your ways with faith and hope we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known admit them to rejoice in the light of your faith and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the apostles and the martyrs, and with all the saints who shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. For through him and with him and in him O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As, as we, we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us share that peace with one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear people of God, behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and the precious blood of your Son, we ask your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before the final blessing, please let us pray the prayer of St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Thank you for attending. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, this Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. 33. Abide with me. Abide with me, fast for the eventide. The darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When all the hell past fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless who abide.